Even before this state championship game, you could say the Boonville Lady Pirates had made history in a lot of different ways. Playing in a COVID year, multiple members of the 1,000 Points Club, even making it to the state title game for the very first time. But that wasn't quite enough for them. Oh yeah, but a state championship, that might just be enough. I'm really speechless. I'm emotional right now. I don't even know how to explain it. It's felt like this is what we've wanted our whole entire lives and we got it and it just doesn't feel real. Winning a state title takes a lot of different things coming together at just the right time. <laughs> Athletic ability obviously helps out a bit. So does coaching. Watch out. But at the forefront of it all is chemistry. We all do it for each other, you know. Teams that get mad at each other sometimes, we get we just, we don't, we work past that. It wasn't just like an individual thing. We all wanted this for each other. We wanted to win for each other. A group of girls that have been playing together since they were in fourth grade. I just had this gut feeling the entire time that we were gonna get to this moment. Like I had no doubt in my mind that anyone could stop us if we play like we can. And that's what happened. Training, dreaming, wanting to make Boonville history as the first girls team to win a state championship. Well, these girls are going to be forever linked with each other and um, be known as state champions, which, um, you know, if you look through Boonville or lost, you don't get to say that very often. There's only been a few in Boonville history. But soon it will be just that, a great memory to look back on. That's that's so when the couple a couple seconds when it hit, that's when I noticed. I was like, I'm, I'm never wearing this uniform again. For that to be my last game with them, what a way to go out, but I am going to miss them so much. Multiple members of this Boonville team did play their last game in a Pirates uniform. But as for those who are coming back next year, they already told me it's time to hit the gym. Reporting in Springfield, Natalie Jones, ABC 17 Sports.